A new look on the Birmingham skyline. You're looking live right now at Protective Stadium. This is in Uptown, just four days from the home opener there for UAB. We're taking a look at the economic impact this will leave on our region. There's a lot of excitement about Protective Stadium and this first game this weekend. CBS 42's Jen Cardone joins us live at the stadium tonight. Jen, tourism leaders are telling us that Saturday's game is a big stepping stone. Yeah, it really is, Sherry. For bigger and better events and attractions to come right here to Protective Stadium. But city and tourism leaders say that they anticipate this and they can already feel the electric atmosphere building that they've been long awaiting for. Crews are putting the finishing touches up as the countdown clock waits to start the first play at Birmingham's new Protective Stadium. Well, to say that we're excited is an understatement. Soon to be the home of the UAB Blazers and tourism leaders say so much more. You don't have to have a major league team in order to be major league and we are without a doubt we are a major league destination when it comes to youth amateur and collegiate sports. That sports destination mentality is something city leaders have been striving to maintain throughout the years. It's a billion dollar industry and so we want, we want fans to come in from all over the southeast and really across the country to come in and spend money and so it's part of our overall strategy to make sure that the city of Birmingham is a true sports destination city. Because more tourism dollars means more money stays in your pocketbook plus more visitors will lead to more growth. This is going to be a callus for, for new development in the northern part of the city of Birmingham. To make the Magic City a destination for more to come. It's going to be, be a great experience down here. There's no doubt about it. It's, it's, it's cool and it's first class, so it's all we could ask. Tourism leaders say that this stadium can serve as a multi purpose sports facility, and they're looking forward to bring things like possibly an international rugby tournament or soccer events and anything that would attract national attention. They're looking to bring it right here. Saturday's game is the first step in that direction. Reporting live in Birmingham, Jen Cardone, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.